So um, as an eco church, um, where I go to church, I'm really wondering how the two schemes mix together, eco church and creation care and how they can work together. And fortunately with us is exactly the right person to answer that question. Helen Stevens is church relations manager at Arosha UK and leads the eco church scheme. There couldn't be a more perfect person to talk to us at this point. So Helen, I'll hand over to you. Thank you, Hannah. Um, it's a real privilege to join you this evening for this event, which as much as being a launch, feels like it should also be a point to pause and celebrate um, what, as Annabelle has um, alluded to, is undoubtedly 12 to 18 months of hard work by her and the team at St Paul's in Dorking. And what has been achieved is remarkable. We've seen an interesting shift during almost five years of running Eco Church from churches struggling more with how to incorporate caring for creation into their worship and teaching and struggling with saving energy in their buildings to lifestyle as being the category which most often presents challenges. Unsustainable choices and patterns of consumption um, seem to be hardwired into our culture and society. And it can be hard to know where to start and how to make the continual improvements that we know are needed if collectively we want to influence a simpler, more sustainable way of life for all. There are obvious synergies with Eco Church, and uh, we're really encouraged that Eco Church has inspired this incredible work to develop something um, for Christians in our homes. And it will certainly help churches in tackling the lifestyle category of Eco Church alongside Arosha's own more informal Wild Christian scheme. And the lifestyle category, um, I think, as, as Dave mentioned, perhaps has struggled a bit and perhaps has been hard to tackle because there hasn't been a tool like this. And whilst we ask churches to go out and encourage, um, encourage us in our homes to take these actions, um, th this framework will be really helpful. So we're hugely supportive of Creation Care. care. Though to be clear, um, we can take none of the credit. It's an entirely independent initiative. We're very open though to sharing lessons that we're learning from five years of running Eco Church, and we'll um, hopefully work closely with Annabelle and follow um, the progress. And once the sort of initial um, bedding period is over um, and whatever teething issues have been ironed out and really hope that there aren't many or any um, we're going to be very happy to include it and point to it as an additional resource for the lifestyle section of Eco Church. And just thinking, why is it that churches struggle with this section? Maybe because it's the most personal. Each of our circumstances in, is different, and some of the choices are financial ones, such as purchasing local or organic food, which is why I think it's beholden on all of us in our churches to campaign for fairness, for example, in a shift towards access to healthier food for, for all. I was really struck by a news item last week about two vicars in Burnley who'd been feeding local families, those who have fallen through the cracks of any more formal support. And it left me thinking, how does sustainability or indeed lifestyle considerations fit in communities where churches are helping people just to get by and have some food, let alone locally grown, fair trade and organic. Um, I was reading actually just earlier today about a church in Liverpool that's using its community garden to grow herbs and vegetables, which are then being taken um, to a local food bank to, to give people a chance to eat fresh and locally grown produce. Well, this is perhaps one for a longer conversation than we have time for now. But I think it does have a lot of relevance, not least in us playing our part in tackling some of the systemic issues in our society, which we might do, for example, through the global and community engagement um, part of Eco Church. But these are issues that we can influence through our own lifestyle choices and behaviours, like choosing to bank ethically. So I think this creation care initiative will be a tremendous asset to many of us in our daily lives providing a framework as Eco Church does for helping us to make and measure our progress. Congratulations on launching such a comprehensive programme for Christians in our homes. 
and we at Arosha will give you all the support that we can. Thank you.